so I might have got a bit carried away. <laughs> I spent too much money on crochet books, but I ordered them so long ago, I don't remember what we're gonna see. <laughs> Do you want to unbox them with me? So you know how sometimes you have an idea and then you can't think of anything else until you've fulfilled the idea? Well, I realised that a popular secondhand online book distributor might also be a source of one of my favourite things to find in secondhand and thrift shops, which is crochet books. It's exciting. I can't wait to share this with you and with myself. It's a, like a reseller linking platform, so they've come from several different places in varieties of locations around the world, and we're gonna unbox them here. I'm really sorry if my voice sounds very slightly slurred today, I promise I've not been day drinking. Um, I somehow managed to cut the side of my tongue, so well, forgive that and we'll, we'll move past it as I overexcitedly show you all these books. And I think we're just gonna start at the top of the pile. I have already opened some of the packages so that I can just open them to show them to you, but I have really carefully not looked inside so that we are equally surprised. I know I shouldn't be equally surprised, I should know what I've purchased and that this is a minor problem, but generally, good at budgeting. It's just... I spent the equivalent of a hundred dollars on crochet books, but that's... it's an investment, right? No, it is. Okay, first one. So this feels like it's paperback rather than hardback. <sighs> okay, so I remember this one very well. I'm just gonna chuck the rubbish on the floor. I mean, it's my floor. Well, I don't need to ask permission, do I? So, check it out. Right, you think, okay. Standard learning how to crochet kind of book, right? But, Helpful large diagrams and fantastic vintage sewing patterns on the back. Um, it also has 2S6D, which I assume was currency. I'm probably supposed to know that. Oh, it really is large form. Okay, this is actually awesome. I think genuinely people could benefit from this right now, and that is so clear. Okay, I'm gonna really enjoy going through this one. Check it out. So large format instructions, super simple, not particularly long, but I actually think um, for a lot of people who find it easier to learn on paper than reading off a computer screen, that's pretty ideal. And I've never seen it before. Very excited to put that on my shelf. Should we do this one next? I'm just gonna do them in the order that they come off the pile. Okay, first things first. the Vogue Dictionary of Crochet Stitches. Sadly, slightly mouldy on the top, but I might be able to dust that off, but... Okay, this actually looks like a really comprehensive... I'm gonna have to go through these individually and show them to you, aren't I? Wow. This is really cool because I do really, really like discovering new stitches, and although I always default back to making a Migurumi, seeing things like this, I don't know about you, do you find it really inspirational to see different types of stitches? And I feel like things are so often samey, maybe that's me being a cynic, but these like vintage books, they always have this wonderful sort of edgy variety that I really like. That's brilliant, so this starts with basic stitches and then it goes into a ton of variation. Also, how good is that dress? Oh, there's a really nice one on there as well. Same front and back cover. I mean, come on, guys. But yeah, Vogue Dictionary of Crochet Stitches. This is so many books. Okay, 10 simple crochet products. So this projects, products, projects. So this is cool, this is um, this is a much more modern one. Let's have a look, 2014 for modern. 10 years old, that's young when you're me and nearly 40. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that's nice to, okay. This is a really good one. So if you're looking for up to date but simple, oh, cute hats. Okay, that's really nice. 
I don't know what Sarah, ha what Sarah Hatton knits is. I assume Sarah Hatton is a person. I'm terribly sorry, Sarah Hatton. I don't, and it's not someone I'm familiar with, but um, that's really cute. And it says she has a website, sarahhatton.com, if you want to check her stuff out. I think I will. Let's see what's next. Okay. I totally remember seeing the cover of this online. Check it out. This is the type of thing that I would never make. It's not to my personal taste, but I love that it exists and I adore looking at it in books. Is that, that's a thing, right? That's a thing for people. Oh, this is really good. Okay, so it's got some nice illustrated instructions there. And then it's got, oh, tiny purse. That's interesting. It seems like some of the things that are described, there's actually no picture of them. Maybe the pictures are elsewhere in the book. I'll, I'll have a bigger look later. This is really nice, actually, because I I don't think this is as as old as I would perhaps class as vintage, which I always feel like is like 60s and 70s. Maybe it's not. No, so it looks like this is from the early 90s, which that's so recent, right? It feels recent. I, I feel like if I remember writing a year in my exercise book at school, that it's recent. Yeah, I love. I don't think that I have the patience personally for lace work, but it is totally beautiful. Oh, that's cute. Yay! I'm gonna enjoy looking through that one. Okay, what have we got next? Easy crochet scarves. Oh, there's a fluffy one on the back. Don't you love fluffy things? I love the texture of fluffy things. Let's see if we can find. Oh, so this is nice. I'm gonna tell you what, scarves are such a good way of practicing particular stitches and styles of crochet as well. I love how clearly this is illustrated. That's really cool. So this is Easy Crochet Scarves by Margaret Hubert. I have never seen yarn that looks like that, but I want to. Super cute. I'm so fussy with scarves as well, with the particular like yarn stitches, therefore the end texture of things that come up. I'm very particular about what I'm happy to have hanging around my neck, so throw away the rubbish. Okay, next package. Okay. Popcorns, bobbles, and puffs to crochet. I love ball stitches and puff stitches and popcorn stitches. They are great. They are super cute. That would make such a nice blanket. It'd probably take a really long time. I think puff stitch flowers as well are some of the nicest crochet flowers that you can get. This is really cool. I think these could be applied to a lot of different projects as well. Circular rug. That's an exciting one. Popcorns, bubbles and puffs. Nice. Okay, so probably you can tell the really old crochet books are very much where my heart lies. Check out that bad boy. Oh my goodness. The Colour Book of Crochet. And we can tell straight away that's a British one, can't we, because of the spelling. Diagrams of how to crochet. Not sure how I feel about the blue ink there, but you know, to each their own. So nice, simple, instructive stuff at the beginning. And then they've got diagrammatic and written examples with the different patterns. And it's so interesting, isn't it? The things that were just generally popular not that long ago that have completely fallen out of favour now, but they're such intricate work. It's amazing. Curtain edging. I didn't even know that was a thing. Amazing. What have we got next? What? Even. Look at that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even guessed that either of those things were crocheted to glance at them. Oh dear. Look, he's a ja dapper gentleman. I would wear this top to the extent that I now want to just go and make this top. There's such an interesting distinction, isn't there, in the clothes. Although everything's cropped at the moment if, if my preteen daughter is anything to go by, so that would probably function quite well now. Okay, I love this. This is this, I'm going to spend some time poring over this one. That is absolutely lovely. Oh, love it. So that's Vogue's classic crochet. 
Oh no, we're getting through the books. Oh, holiday appliques to crochet. This is super cute. Again, not a massive day-to-day -day applique person, but you could make really cute Christmas tree decorations with appliques, couldn't you? You just hang a string on the end of them. Oh, see you later. Little Holly. That's adorable. That's really cute. So I suspect this maybe is a thing that came with a magazine at some point that's got an advert for magazines on the back. Tell me if you know, is this familiar to you? Big box. Oh my goodness, this is huge. I, I don't think it's showing up on camera just how huge it is. New Directions in Crochet, a diagrammed course to easier crocheting with more than 200 designs and patterns. Very cool. Glossary of symbols for us there, that's pretty cool. Blimey, that is not what I was expecting to see. I think we might have some interesting stuff in here. Let me flick for you. Okay, so a lot of it's black and white, understandably, for how old it is. But yeah, just small pictures of the different stitches and then little descriptions beside them. That's a super cute picture. So yeah, what have we got left? Oh my gosh, okay, there's so much in this box. Ah, oh, new ideas for crochet. I love that whenever someone produces a book that has new in it, they don't think about the fact that it's not going to be new for terribly long, but I guess short-term goals, right? 2000, oh, reprinted in 2001. Gosh, so I don't know when it first came from, but I mean, it looks like 90s at the latest. Oh, this is nice. Cute, cute projects, nice clear instructions. Oh, look at that for a learning to crochet section. That's what I try to go for um, with the site where you've got like little step by step shows you exactly how to use the hook stuff. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, look at that colour. That's pretty amazing. I want to touch it, which is a good sign. So I would, you know, I would dare to suggest that 25 years on this probably aren't new anymore, but in terms of the patterns and, and whether they're, you know, current to what the taste is in people's homes. Actually, that's, that's not far off. The WI Creative Guide to Crochet. Super cute picture on the front. Love it. Oh my God. I kind of wish things like that were still fashionable. And it's funny, right? Because I don't, I mean, You've seen me. You've maybe probably seen me before on this channel. Fashion isn't my forte. However, <laughs> there are certain things that just to modern tastes don't work, but I mean, jumpers always good, right? Cute babies are always cute. That's a fact. Oh my God, these are amazing. Maybe it should be my thing to like make 60s style sweaters and bring them back with my great powers of fashion. <laughs> That's lovely. Really excited to look at the rest of that one. Oh. Okay, home decoration in crochet. I'm guessing this is no more than 10 years old based on looking at it. 2017. That's This is a nice quality book actually. This looks very clearly laid out. It's got some quite novel looking ideas as well. It's interesting always looking at the colour choices people make in crochet books, isn't it? Because I'm quite particular in my colour preferences for um, for crochet and for design, but it's always quite fun when people go in a bit of a different direction. These are hats for eggs. Is that to keep them, is that to keep boiled eggs warm? Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so this, this is some good looking stuff. We like this. Okay, I remember seeing this, the cover of this online. How cute are these cows? I mean, come on, I want to hug them. 25 playful projects to love, toys to crochet. Well, if the cow is anything like the rest of them, then count me in. Oh my God. Claire Garland, if you ever see this, your designs are adorable. 
What I really like um, about Amigurumi in this kind of way as well is that I think the style is so particular. These look nothing alike. I would design these things and they are totally adorable in this really unique way. Look at that. I love this. This is like a, oh, this I could just look again and again through this. Look at the pig. What? I love this one. Okay, I think this might be my favorite so far. What's your favorite so far? Tell me. Well, you don't have to tell me. Tell me if you want to tell me. Oh, no, okay, we've only got a pile left. Only. Good housekeeping, crochet, and illustrated guide. Oh, so I was thinking this wouldn't be overly descriptive because it's so small. But actually, looking pretty detailed here. So we've got a nice sample of each of the things and then the little instructions for making the stitch underneath. I, th I feel like I should try some lace work. Oh, that's cute. These are good. This is, it's funny sometimes, isn't it? Don't judge a book by its cover. But sometimes I judge a book by its cover and I'm wrong. I mean, I obviously judged it like enough that I wanted it. Easy to crochet, superb gifts. Do you know I love the word superb? It gets the point across. I always, um, I always feel slightly uncomfortable when I see crochet things that are designed for tiny babies. I, I assume that that's designed for tiny babies because of obviously the safety concerns and everything, but I'm a bit of a, a hyper warrior on that front. Probably shouldn't let it trouble me so much. Here are some super cute cushions. Lots of lovely lace. What can we do with lace these days? Do you use it to edge garments. That's so sweet. Yeah, this is really cute. Ah! Oh! Okay, so I've already been thinking about what I want to crochet for Christmas. So the Santas that I have in mind to make are a very different shape to that, but how cute are they? Adorable. Just elbowed my gecko's tank. I'm really sorry, Stig. It's the daytime, so he's asleep. Okay, that's really funny I said that, because Christmas. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might break my own rule and make someone else's pattern rather than design my own. Would I design my own? I'll probably design my own. And I have to forget. Oh my god. I really like these. So if you want to make something Christmassy, I recommend you look this one up. Mini Christmas Crochet by Val Pierce. Christmas pudding. Look at that. Okay, that's really lovely. Vintage crochet for your home. That's interesting. So it's obviously not a vintage crochet book because it's using vintage as its hook. When's this from? 2010. Okay, so it's nearly 15 years old. It's harking back to another age, but look at this. Melon placemat. I need a melon placemat. I actually do. I feel like everyone should have a melon placemat. I'm trying to power through for you now because I'm watching the time in the corner of the screen and nobody wants to hear me talk for this long. I mean, if you're still with me, what's been your favourite so far? Are there any that you really haven't liked? First crochet. And this does look like a really... Okay, so this is called first crochet and here is a selection of the things that you will learn to crochet. Gotta say, that's a pretty strong selection. Simple flowers to little bags and, um, and hats. That's actually, yeah, that's a strong selection of first things. It's also got nice, nice clear diagrams here of, uh, of how to make all the stitches. I assume if you're this far along with me watching this video still that you know how to make all your stitches, but I always feel really happy when I see people give clear stitch guides in the front of their books because I feel like it means that anyone who wants to do it has a shot of getting it right rather than just the people who already had a bit of an idea of what they were doing. Okay, first crochet does what it says on the tin. The technique of crochet. I love how from zoomed out, I don't know if that's how it looks to you, but from my little screen here, that looks like Monet's water gardens. That's quite a fringe comment, isn't it? This woman is holding a sword. For various reasons, that is almost too relevant to me and my life, which is slightly entwined in military history. That's amazing. Wow. Okay, this is, this is some 
unique stuff in this book. So I have another book which is crochet in art, a, a, a vintage book that I have shown a long time ago on the channel, I mean a long time ago. Even though this is largely I think garments, this really reminds me of the crochet in art form. Oh. I mean you'd turn heads in those these days wouldn't you? Fantastic, Pauline Turner. Love it. Oh, last one. Sad times. Oh, and it's a cute modern Mickey Rooney book. Check out those sweet things. Like I said earlier, there is something so fantastic about the range of styles that you can have for just one thing. So, look, she's got a little penguin. And I could make a penguin and you could make a penguin or design a penguin and she could make a penguin and they could look just nothing like each other at all and yet all be adorable and look like penguins and I think that's really fantastic. This is cute. So Amiga Rimi World, seriously cute crochet. Oh she is not wrong. Little animals. So, so I've made a mess of my floor. I've accidentally knocked my gecko's tank. But, I'm going to try and show you. What? I can't even hold them, there's so many. I need to do more weights. I may have got overexcited. I might need a bigger bookshelf. I adore vintage crochet books. These, none of them will sit unlooked at on my shelf for any period of time. Um, I will dive into all of them and treasure them all and at some point I might even make individual videos on different ones of them if you guys want to see any more of them. Obviously if you've seen anything that you like in this pile then hunt around, um, obviously in real life but also sort of online secondhand bookstores, things like that. It's amazing what you can find. Had I bought all of these new it would have cost an absolute fortune. As it was, I think, it's a bargain. And I hope you think so too. And I hope you've enjoyed looking at them and I hope that the camera has focused properly. And I hope that my slightly slurred speech hasn't put you off too much as well. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below and I will see you there. Happy crocheting.